जग में सुंदर है दो नाम चाहे कृष्ण कहो या राम जग में सुंदर है दो नाम चाहे कृष्ण कहो या राम बोलो राम 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 बोलो श्याम 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 बोलो राम 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 बोलो श्याम 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 जग में सुंदर है दो नाम चाहे कृष्ण कहो या राम बोलो राम 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 बोलो श्याम 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 माखन ब्रज में एक चुरावे एक बेर भिलनी के खावे प्रेम भाव से भरे अनोखे दोनों के है काम चाहे कृष्ण कहो या राम जग में सुंदर है दो नाम चाहे कृष्ण कहो या राम बोलो राम 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 बोलो श्याम 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 एक हृदय में प्रेम बढ़ावे एक ताप संताप मिटावे दोनों सुख के सागर है और दोनों पूर्ण काम चाहे कृष्ण कहो या राम जग में सुंदर है दो नाम चाहे कृष्ण कहो या राम बोलो राम 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 बोलो श्याम 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 बोलो राम 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 बोलो श्याम 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 हरिओम जाति नीति कुल गोत्र दूर गम नाम रूप गुण दोष वर्जित देश काल विषयाति वर्तीयद ब्रह्म तत्व भावयात्म यम सकल वाद गोचर गोचर विमल बोध चक्षुष शुद्ध चिघन अनादिवस्तु यद ब्रह्म तत्व भावयात्म षिर्मीर योगी योगी हृद भावि न करणर्विभा बुद्ध्यवेद्यमन वद्यमस्ति यद ब्रह्म तत्वसि भावयात्म भ्रांति कल्पित जगत्कलाश्रय स्वाश्रय चद सदक्षण निष्क निरुपमानवीय ब्रह्म तत्वसि भावयात्म जन्म वृद्धि पिनपक्ष व्याधिनाशन विहीनम विश्वसृष्ट्यविघात कारण ब्रह्म तत्वसि भावयात्म तेजस्वी नीतमस्तु मा विषा वह 
ಬದ್ರಂಕನೇಷ್ಟಿಷ್ಟಿಷ್ಟಿಷ್ಟಿಷ್ಟಿಷ್ಟಿಷ್ಟಿಷ್ಟಿಷ್ಟಿಷ್
you need several things to make you adequate, perfect, not immortal and blissful. Half is right, half is wrong. Your demands are good, but you are seeking where they are not there. Number one, even if I don't explain too much, you please reflect on this. Number one, you are seeking where they are not. Number two, you are very really seeking, doing, discovering what you want. One, you are seeking where they are not. More important than that, you are very really discovering what you are already. They, you are what you are already. That what you are seeking. So therefore. It's knowledge of that game. Then what is all this? Every master says, Sadhana, Sadhana, no master denies it. Even Shankara has written, Sadhana Pajkam. Why? Because if you can understand what I am telling, because there are, there are cases. I tell you about myself because that will give you more faith. The day I hear, I saw Gurudev, the first few sentences I, he said, I, I found myself to be different. The very first day. Right? So you should only be ready to receive it. Why you are not ready? Because your mind is too preoccupied with outside. Outside world is bad? No. You read today Vedanta Manana, clearly Gurudev says it's not bad. Just before all of you came, I was talking to Hitesh about Bitcoin share market. So where is how, uh, outside world bad? Your relationship with outside world is bad. Outside world is Lakshmi. The essence of Lakshmi is Narayana. Outside world is Narayana's expression, Lakshmi. It cannot be bad. But you were as you were, you were uh, estimation, your relationship is bad. So knowledge you have to get. What knowledge do I have to get? Try to understand wherever there is duality, second one, insecurity starts. Insecurity starts. Dvaye bhayam. Advaye bhayam nasti. Simple formulas. When there are two, fear is unavoidable. Where there are two, fear is unavoidable. Let it be best relationship. Even Guru and Sishya. You are afraid when the Guru will keep you out. You will do some mistake and the Guru will kick you out. Right? Guru is not worried. Because he is in that state. If you go, he doesn't mind. It's a relief for him. But Sishya is worried. Sishya is worried. So if there are two insecurities, and if you have to depend on more people, more than two, more insecurity. A money who has a man who has no money has to just work for that day's living. He will get it. God has provided you certain life. So if you have to go through that. Is God will provide because your life He has planned. You will get it. Or He will make you work and you will get it. Just living is not a problem. And living with the right mind, you don't need things to be happy. In fact, all the masters have left things to be happy. 
our own Guru Parampara. Tapon Maharaj was born with a golden spoon, fleet of buses in Kerala. Chinmayanandi was really directly related to the royal family and he was a postgraduate, a recognized tennis player. All of them left everything. So you can be happy with those things. That is not very difficult for people to accept. They accept. It is not difficult for you to be happy. Everybody accepts. Right? The other thing only you have to see. The more things you have, the more problems. The more things you have, the more problems you have. The more money you have, the more insecure. The more money you have, the more insecure. So should I leave money? I've been telling you, no. You need it, produce it, but don't depend on Narayana. And if Narayana has to be served, you need resources, produce it. Don't depend on that. Depend on Narayana. But this First thing, the false knowledge that we have, that we are the body, we are the mind, we are the intellect. We need things for us to be adequate, happy, free from freedom from death has to go. You have to do something has to go. The experience is not, not one day is to go. If it, it goes, you are fully ready to listen. When you are fully ready to listen, it will work on this part. When you are not ready to listen, preparing the instrument is all sadhana. We, we said sadhana panchakam. Preparing the instrument to listen rightly is all sadhana. God is not produced by sadhana. He is a siddha vastu. But you, you are not ready. You have so many preoccupations, so many confusions to shed them off and become sharp are all sadhana. They are all sadhana. You should not say, I am doing sadhana, one day I will get No. You should have the faith that I will get it today. You don't get it, then you inquire why I am not getting it. Then you go through the process. Even then, it's not that everybody has to start from beginning. It says in Gita chapter 3, Yatha, they were like the smoke covering the fire. Dhumo Vatmihi Yatha Adarshya on Adarsha Adarsha Malena Yatha Garbaha Ulbena Right? Three sections. Depends upon where you are. Do not try to put all your efforts to that. First see whether you can understand. You try to understand. In fact, you are serious. The very process of understanding will get you all the sadhanas. If you are serious, because what do you mean by serious? If you think that is most important, you automatically will leave all other things and dependence on that. That is all sadhana. Sadhana is only vairagya. Vairagya depends on viveka. Right? So, as long as there is a second thing, there is insecurity, there is sorrow. There has to be only one. And that is scientific, that's logical, because if there is plurality, the plurality should have a beginning. And what? The beginning of plurality cannot be plurality. The plurality should have an origin. And the origin has to be different from plurality. So therefore, it is non-dual. It is non-dual. It's very scientific logic. Right? If that is so, 
how do I dismiss all that I've seen? What you are talking about the non-dual, I am not able to experience. What I know, you want me to draw. How to do it? What you are telling, I do not know. What I know, you say is not, not real. Drop it. How to go? How to go? Firstly, you have to know what are all not real. Because reality cannot be shown because if something is real, it has to be infinite. It has to be not subject to change. If it has not to be subject to change, it cannot be a substance. All in Gurudev's commentary. These are all there in Gurudev's commentary. If it has to be changeless, infinite, not subject to loss, it cannot be a substance. Because every substance is subject to change. Why? Sub substance has qualities. Qualities are always uh, relative. Qualities are always relative. You cannot think of good without thinking of bad. Only when you know something is bad, you want it good. You cannot think of immortality without thinking of that. So, qualities are always relative. You cannot think of one without the other. So, if something has to be infinite, changeless, it should not have qualities. Is there possible something without qualities? Yes. You apply this same logic. If duality should have an origin which is non-dual, quality should have a state where there are no, there is no there are no qualities. Unless something is blank, you can't put colors on that. Unless something is blank, you can't put colors on that. If you have to put colors on that, the backdrop has to be blank. And what about your sleep? What qualities are there? What duality is there? What qualities are there? What duality is there? So, I made the statement. I made the logic. I am now giving you the experience. You are asleep. Bring the state of sleep into waking. That's called meditation. That's called meditation. Bring the state of sleep into waking. That is called meditation. What is meditation? To stay in your own being, withdrawing from all that you are not. You want the best definitions for anything uh, without ambiguity, go to Bhagavatam. Anya rupan hitva swasurupe in santitihi. Anya rupan, all other names and forms, hitva abandoning, swasurupe in your own self, samstatihi. You stay there. Right? That's called samadhi. That's called mukti. Right? So that is there. You are experiencing every day in sleep. You are not there to experience it. You are, you are now meddled with that. So when you beta, relatively you feel. At least when you want to get up, you don't want to leave it. Right? So because it's beautiful. So it's going to say gateway. It's a gateway. So you can experience it. You have to believe that is real, that is real. And when you do that, the first thing necessity is to remove all the obstructions. To remove all the obstructions, you know, you should know what are all the obstructions. Therefore, 
the text with all its love told us about the three states waking dream deep sleep and it said that is beyond this what do you mean beyond it outlives them is beyond not that they are different it is different it outlives them waking dream deep sleep you are beyond that means you outlive waking dream and deep sleep silence outlive sounds are now silence outlives sound are now that is called beyond water is wave bubble ocean and beyond that doesn't mean it's not wave ocean and bubble it is wave ocean bubble and beyond sound silence is sound and beyond you the waker dreamer deep sleeper and beyond so for that you should know what you know to remove that this i am not this i am not this i am not remove the name and the form wave will motion what remains there is water remove the name and the form the waking dream and deep sleep what was there through all continuously supporting them which does not change with the changes is you right so vedanta has two aspects to say what it is to say what it is not having said that what it is not you negate what it is you assert this is called abhyasa and vairagya abhyasa and vairagya so for that the all compassionate master markan uh, the mandukya rishi has given us all whatever you know whatever you do not know whatever you will know whatever you see whatever not you you have not seen all that is only one truth wrong all that is only one truth wrong how to accept it he said ah in the whole world in the whole world the na nami is not different from the na the same part you said the name word part you didn't want to think about part but you cannot stop it when you say part the form has to come before you when you say part before you so when whom you say god concept whatever it is it has to come before you so he explains aruna ar three dimensions of that dimensionless god silence amatra aruma ar matras matras means measured amat which is beyond measure right which is beyond measure so what is a a disturbance in silence what is who another disturbance in silence what is ma another disturbance in silence all the names because we said the name the nominal and name are not different the nami and nama are not different so all names should come within the letters this is a very common thing which has come beautifully in whatsapp everybody loves it a child is going to temple every day so some day priest as you are coming every day standing there what are you praying to god i want so many things or i don't know what i want several things i don't know he knows so what i am doing is i am saying a b c d a to z all things must be within a to z so i ask you to arrange that simple mandukya that is simple 
command you. Everything should be within your desire. Bhagavan, you are in. That is womb. Because all sounds come in the womb. Because when you open the mouth, ah, when you close the mouth, in. And in between there is a vibration that's called you. In, in between there is a vibration between A ah and Ma, ah, that's you. U, ah, ah, U, Ma. So all sounds are included in that Ah, U, Ma. So they all names are included in that. And names and the, uh, the one who is named, uh, the, the name are all same. So womb represents everything. Now, how to understand the essence in Ahuma, which draw from the sound Ahuma, see what is left. What is Ahuma waking dream, deep sleep? Which draw from the dream, dream and deep sleep and see what is left. That is seventh sloka, what is important. What Sri Gurudev said everywhere, you must memorize. Sri Gurudev, in all his lectures, have asked only four or five things to memorize. One is what Amma is chanting. Another is this. Then there are five, six verses in Kaivalya Upanishad. Right? Then four verses in Isa Vasya. Right? And then Tita uh, Pragna portion. And then some prayer verses in the 11th chapter. This all he has asked people to memorize. So this he has asked to memorize because this is complete. Na Tita Pragna. It's consciousness. But what type of consciousness we'll see. It's not even consciousness, you will see at one place. Right? Na anta pregnam. It's not conscious insight. What is inside consciousness? Dream. It's not dream. Na bahish pregnam. Not external consciousness waking. Na cha ubhayata pregnam. Neither both. Waking and dream. Na pragnana ganam. Not sleep, you know. Pragnana ganam is sleep. Na anta pragnam na na vakya this is why our, our masters ask somebody to chant because you, you your mind is elsewhere and now you have to search for it. Yeah. Na anta pregnam, na bahish pregnam, na chabubayata pregnam, na pregnana gana, mass of consciousness, because in sleep nothing is there. Na pregnam, it's not simple consciousness, because simple consciousness we never see, you have a concept of consciousness. Because you cannot say consciousness without an object. Right? So it is not simple conscious. Na pregnam. You are not aware of certain thing. Not that also. Then what is that? I can only explain to you in negations. Adrushyam. It cannot be seen. Why? Whatever is seen is not you is not real. How does it help? Simple. Whatever is seen is not you. So you agree there is something seen and you are there. So seen is not real, that means you are real. The one who is aware of the seen, seer is real. Because you can't have something seen without the seer. Drushya Viveka. So you are the seer. 
So adrushyam, it appears a negative statement. No, it has a solution in itself. Avyavaharyam, it cannot be transacted. It cannot be transacted. So it is not there. No, we are not transacting anything. But you are there, I am there. Agrahyam, not grab by either the senses or the intellect because it is the way seer behind them. Seen cannot know the seer. Seen cannot know the seer. Agrahyam. Alakshanam. Okay, well, you, why don't you give me some way to recognize it? Some clues. There are no clues for it because the clues you can give only with qualities and if there is second or third thing you can do with reference to that. This alone is there. Alakshanam. Achintyam. Cannot be thought of. Avyapadeshyam. It cannot be be described. It is the essence of all objects, of all thoughts. Pratyaya can be objects, Pratyaya can be also thoughts. It's the very essence behind all objects as existence, behind all thoughts as existence. Right? Why do I do? Prapanchokshamam. Yeah, various aspects that differentiate the five elements. Pancha, pancha, pancha. I told you. Rudhya, Tejo, Vai, Vakasha, and Karma Indriyas, Nyana Indriyas, Pancha Prana. All that is Pancha, you. Muncha, leave. <laughs> all that is Pancha, you leave. Pancha Bhukshamam, where everything rests. Shantam, where everything rests. Shantam, peaceful, quiet. We all want experiences. Why? To get happiness. But try it once. Withdraw your mind for all experiences. See what is there. Is not a zero. Is happiness. Innumerable with the reference to the joy that you want to get from objects. It's not a blank state. It's quietitude. It's blissful. Shantam. Shantam. And is that enough? If it is Shantam, no. Many a time I also get such moments, but that's not a loss, that doesn't last. No, it will be immortal, it will never change, it will never die. One auspicious. Advaitam. Other than that. Chaturtham Manyante, with the reference to the waking dream and hope. Chaturtham Manyante, Satma, that is the self. What, is, what do you mean with the self? Atma, Atma means what? The very core, gold is the Atma in all ornaments. Water is the Atma in all waves and bubbles. Such it is the Atma behind all the dream world. That is the very Go. That is a very uh, that is a very uh, very subject in every right. So he said. Then he has uh, said to uh, given some exercises for us to understand that. What conditions what? Karya, Karana, Baddhu, all that we have seen. And now we come to the next slogan, uh, next mantra of the Upanishad, 8. Srotra, uh, so I am Atma, Adyakchaha, Adi Aksharam, Umkara, 
అది మాత్రం పాదా మాత్ర మాత్రాశ్చ పాదా అకార ఉకారో మకార ఇది దిస్ ఆత్మ సహ అయం ఆత్మ అది అక్షరం ఇట్స్ పెరిటబుల్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఇంపెరిటబుల్ Acharam can be moved. Acharam can be moved. Why? Same thing. Acharam is imperishable. Chara, Purusha, Akshara, Purusha, Purushottama. 15th chapter. Chara, Purusha, all names are called. Akshara, Purusha, Kutstha in you. Purushottama, who is not even a Kutta, who is not that. So, that is Akshara. Then, later, uh, Om also Akshara. And even others, we use even for alphabets, Akshara. Why? How, how alphabets can be compared to God? What is Akshara? Akshara, that is lost. Akshara, which cannot be lost. You can lose sentences. You can lose words. you can lose syllables but you cannot lose the alphabets you cannot lose the alphabet therefore they are akshara same thing with bhagavan and that is who consists of aruma right aksharam and that is pada akshara pada jagra swapna shushupti right turiya pada matra matra measured letters avuma matra cha pada akaro ukara nakara iti they are both the same avuma akshras jagrat sushupti right they are all the same for jagrat i want to be give you a i want to give you a name i gave you who for shukri want to give a name for the uh, four with reference to these three call it four i gave you turiya and then i gave you armatra aramatra ha huh? amatra so they are same same name. for meditation we have to do what is meditation which is coming here also meditation is also called upasana what is upasana what is meditation try to see the word is superimposition on brahman now if you want to go the superimposition consciously superimpose brahman on things this word is a superimposition on brahman no reverse superimpose brahman on things that is upasana that is upasana right in between you need dadu this is all vedanta first upasad agama then manana it is going to come and then establish the truth advaita prakarana then with an example alapa shanti so first chapter is agama city next chapter is manana same thing it makes you reflect and nididhyasana is advaita help example alapa understand so therefore both are same and now that you know he is explaining jagra swapna shruti why this explanation so that you can negate what is not all these explanations are not for you to assert don't try to fight it's not necessary A lot of people fight what is anamaya kosha pranam pranamaya kosha is it physical stula or in shruti just understand what is pranamaya and say it is not me why are you breaking your bread pranamaya is in both therefore the problem comes without prana 
the stola sharira will move. The sukshma sharira also cannot think, udana. So it comes in both. And there, all that is given to you is not to become erudite and scholarly about them. It is only to bundle up and throw them out. I had you unnecessarily breaking your head. What is Jagrat, what is Sapna, what is Shukti is told to you that you are not. So that is now explaining what is Jagrat. Jagratistanu Vaishwamaraha Akaraha Pradhama Madraha Avtehi Adi Matvatva Avnodi Havai Sarvan Kaman Adischa Bhavati Yayamun Veda. See what a pity, pitiable condition of us. You go to Vedanta because you are troubled by the world. You would go to your guru, but you won't listen without a promise of a chocolate. Something prasadam should be given. Otherwise, you you, you you less interest, right? So everywhere Paraswati comes. Here also Paraswati. Right. What is the Paraswati? What is the subject matter? Jagarvistanaha, Vaishwanaraha, Akaraha. Ah. He is Vaishwanara. Because waking is Vaishwanara. Dream is Taijasa. Deep sleep is Tushukti. Sorry. Pragna. Pragna. Right? So Vaishwanaraha. Akaraha. That is pervading every sound. Without that, there is no sound. Ik. You can't make use of it. You have to add a ka. And then you can add wu ko. Ik plus a plus wu can be ko. Ik plus a plus e can be ki. But a has to be there. So, Aptimatva, it's, it's all pervading. And then Pradamaha, it is the first thing because when you open the mouth, A comes. A and Vaitara, A comes. You understand? So, therefore, that is this thing. What is the Pada? When you do this, you will become first everywhere. You will be a first class person. And you will be respected by all. You will you will be you will get all your desires. You will get all your desires fulfilled because it pervades everything. It pervades everything. It is the first letter. So, you get all your desires fulfilled. Right? Is it true? If I chant, ah, will, will I get every desire? Yes, if you meditate also. Chant and meditate. Karma plus upasana gradually takes you. That's called Krama Mukti. Krama Mukti need not be only after you die. Many people who don't get what the teacher says on this part, they are gradually growing. How do they gradually grow? Cleanse yourself through karma. Purify yourself through karma, chitta suddhi, and meditate. This is called karma plus upasana is krama mukti. So, A is jagrata. Meditate on that. Once you meditate on that, your mind becomes sharp. And a sharp mind intellect can apply you to this world and you can get whatever you want. So all your desires are filled. So it's not a blind promise. It's a promise that works. All Palasurkis are like that. You think uh, they, they are all talking to that. If I chant Ramayana, I will get this. Yes, you will get it. 
you made the first step. You made the first step for that. Then you have to continue. Then you have to continue. You've taken the first step towards that. You have to continue. So all Palaswatis do work. Right? And then stop now. So Sthana, Taijasaha, Ukaraha, Dvitiya, Matraha, Utkarshad, Ubhayatva, Utkarshatiha, Vai, Nana Santitihi, Samanasya Bhavati, Na Asya Brahma Vitpule Bhavati, Ya Evam Veda. It's in between. A, U, Ma, it's in between. And it's pronounced clearly between A and Mu because you have to, from A to Ma, cross through that. It's it, it it is specific. So Utkarsha, it that sound is higher when you come from A, just beginning, ah, toward the Ma is dying. In between is the expression. Ah is just the beginning. Ma is death. In between expression. Who? Right? Utkarsha. And Ubhayat, it is in between waking and sleep. It is Utkarsha, it is Ubhayat. Therefore, you will attain superior knowledge if you meditate on that. Because Ah at least is in names and forms. Meditation. Who is meditation at the level of the mind? So you will get more sharp than waking, and then you get the knowledge because mind is available. Treated equally by all because it's common between two. Everybody respects you. Anybody, a spiritual man, even it is respect. I have known several cases. Periva, Peri, you know, Periya was wanting to start somewhere and go. Mahaperiva, same time entering city. So the disciples of Mahaperiva went and told the police, oh, we are scared. He said, don't worry, you come there. Went to Periya. He said, come on, start all of you. They said, evening we made all the crackers and all that arrangement. Why? Those crackers will bust there also. You and I, have cars, we go, we can adjust. He is coming by walk. He cannot adjust. Stop. That is the respect. They have some policies and principles, but basically they respect everybody who is selfless, who is working for others, who is living for Others. A spiritual man is not a competitor to anybody. So there is no insecurity. Therefore, he is respected by all. Tushuktasta, sleep. Prabhu makaraha krutiyaha matraha mitehe apete va minatoha va idam sarvam apitascha bhavati yayevum veda. It's a measure of the waking and sleep. It measures because it's the gateway through which both waking and dream has to pass through. You can't dream without going to sleep. If you're dreaming, you can't wake up without going to sleep. So it is the gateway, doorway. So it measures both 
waking and dream. Because you, it cannot escape you. Therefore, it knows both of you. It measures. And in sleep, everything gets absorbed. Everything gets absorbed. So, in samadhi, sleep and samadhi, slight difference. In sleep, you do not know the presence of objects. In samadhi, you are aware of the absence of objects. So, here, you will be able to understand everything, like sleep understands both of them as the gateway, minuti. And you, you will realize the nature of the world itself. Because that's the example we are giving for everything. In sleep, you don't have the mind, so you there is no world. So the world is a vidya. Because it's there only when the mind is there. If it is really there, anything before consciousness, it will illumine. If the world is there without the mind intellect, right? Consciousness will illuminate. If the consciousness does not illumine, it's only seen by the mind and intellect. Why? My wife, my children, even when I sleep, I get up, they are the same. They have not disappeared. Because when you get up, you get up in the same mind. So same Brahman you see as wife, children and all that. In sleep, all they have allowed you to be peaceful. Okay. We'll see. Why take the program next chapter elaborately discusses this. How dream, waking are all illusions. Even dream and waking, illusion. How the same status we will see when we come to the next chapter. Very beautiful. I don't know any scientific analysis can be as beautiful as that. You will see that. So that is deep sleep. And now he is just concluding. Next to four stanzas, he is just concluding what he has said. So even Shankara doesn't comment on that much. We will we'll also rush through that. Vishwasya. Vishwasya Atva Vivakchaya Adi Samanyam Utkatam Avat Atva A. Vivakchaya Analyzing. Adi Samanya Muttam is the common thing in all and the beginning. Matra Sam Pratipatto Syad Akti Samanya Meva Cha. And therefore, A is the same as Jagra, same as Jagra, the beginning and common in all. And common. Why common and all? How waking is common and all? The, your dream mind is nothing but the waking mind's unrealistic thoughts projecting there. You can't have a dream without the waking mind, you know, giving you some vasanas. It's the waking mind. Therefore, you can even understand according to your dreams, the state of your mind. If you are dreaming every day, satsang, study classes, chinmaya mission, that means you are evolving. Right? Every day I should. Others also you will become prarabdha. But this should, this should be there. It's not necessary every day. Because past vasanas are also there. They will come. But if you are deeply into this, this will also come. This will also come. You. And when it doesn't come, do not curse yourself. When negative things come, do not curse yourself. Because negative things are the vasanas inside you being thrown out by the merciful Lord in dream. Like Allah, Allah. Don't curse yourself. Understand that the dirt is coming out. Dirt is coming out. Traidasasya utva vignana 
ಅಷ್ಟು ದೃಶ್ಯತೆ ಸ್ಫುಟಂ ಮಾತ್ರ ಸಂಪ್ರತಿ ಪ್ರಭಯಂ ತಥಾ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಊ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಮೆಡಿಟೇಟ್ ಆನ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಫೈನ್ ದಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಉತ್ಕರ್ಷ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಹೈಯರ್ ಡೈಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಬೋತ್ ಮಕಾರ ಮಕಾರ ಭಾವೆ ಪ್ರಾಜ್ಞಸ್ಯ ಮಾನ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಘಟಂ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮಕಾರ ಮಾನ ಮೆಷರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಅರ್ ಓನ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಭಾವ ಸಂಪ್ರತಿ ಪತ್ತವು ಲಯ 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 ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಮೇಚ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಲಯಂ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಡಿಸಾಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಡಿಸಾಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ತ್ರಿಷು ಧಾಮಸು ಯತ್ ತುಲ್ಯಂ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ನಿಶ್ಚಿತ ಸ ಪೂಜ್ಯ ಸರ್ವಭೂತಾಂ ವಂದ್ಯಸ್ಥೇವ ಆಮಿ ಕಾಮನ್ ಎನ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ತ್ರೀ ಡೈಮೆನ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಅವಸ್ಥಾಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ತ್ರೀ ಅವಸ್ಥಾಸ್ ವೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಡೀಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೀ ಸಿ ಯತ್ ತುಲ್ಯಂ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ನಿಶ್ಚಿತ ಒನ್ who definitely knows it 100% understands it because nischitaha 100% understand it so pujya he can be worshiped if somebody knows that which is common in waking dream and deep sleep state thoroughly experience so pujya worship him sarva bhutanam vandyaschayva maha muni he is a great thinker muni means manana shilavan right he should be worshipped akaro nayate vishwam ukarascha api taitasam makarascha punah pragnam na amatre vidyate dehi akara will take you to vishwa ukara will take you to taitasa makara will take you to pragna that means going and coming and amatre in turiya there is no coming and going it is constantly there in all the there is no coming and going the last mantra of the upanishad amatrah chatur chaturyo avyavahati prapancho pratamah shiva advaita ye evam omkara atma eva sam visatya atmana atmanam yayevam veda having contemplated entered into that dimension atmanam atmana veda you can only know atman by the atman can you touch this with the mind you can only touch this with the hand can this touch your thoughts this cannot touch your thoughts so the respective things only can touch this physical objects can only be touched by gross body thoughts can be only felt by the mind knowledge can be understood only by the intellect so how do i understand atma be the atma atmanam atmana you can only know atman by atma by being that yayam veda and what is that i have already told you he says prapancho patramaha where all these uh, five ಪಂಚ 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 ದೇ ಸಬ್ಸೈಡ್ ಶಿವ ಆಸ್ಪೀಷಿಯಸ್ ಅದ್ವೈತ ನಾನ್ ಡ್ಯೂಯಲ್ ಏಕ ಒನ್ ಓಂಕಾರ ದಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೂಸ್ ನೇಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಓಂಕಾರ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಅಂಡ್ ಹುಮನ್ ಹೂ ಔ ಡು ಯು ನೋ ಇನ್ ಸಮ್ ವಿಶತಿ ಎಂಟರ್ಸ್ ಆತ್ಮನ ಆತ್ಮನ್ ಬೈ the atman you will know the atman not through any other means so with that the upanishad is going no karika one one more thing i didn't explain there are three things i i i, I don't uh, i have not clearly told one is nama and nami are the same second is omkara is apara and para both apara the expressed god para the god beyond expressions apara and para and then 
One more thing, just I remembered, I forgot. Doesn't matter when I have to say, but one will say. So it is uh, Omkara is both Aka, uh, Apara and Para and Nama and Nami. And uh, the three avastas and the Turiya, all are Omkara. Omkaram Padvasho Vidya Pada Matra Na Sanchaya, Omkaram Padvasho Knatra Na Kinchida Pichintayet. Having understood Omkara with all the Padas, Avuma, and the silence. After that, in reach silence, do not voluntarily bring a new thought. This is Upasana. The next few slokas are Upasana. Can be done in many ways. You can just say boom, boom, and feel the silence. That also serves. Ah, just analyze ah, boom, ah. And when you analyze, see ah, waking, who dream. You are passing from waking to dream. In between, the consciousness is there. Passing who to ma, consciousness is there. When you finish ma consciousness, this is also Vipassana. But a lot of others do it uh, the other way also, especially Himalayas. Oh, ah, when they're chanting, they bring the waking state into their mind. Oh, they're slipping into three. Uh, when they chant M, they're slipping into deep sleep. What happens when that stops? They are conscious of the one common in all. One common in all. Having reached there, the Swami says, do not disturb that state on your own. It will get disturbed because Vasanas don't allow you more than a split second. That's enough. A snake is there on the road. Just yes, there was a flash of lightning. At that time, you saw it's a road. Again, it is dark. Now you will no more be fooled. You know it is road. So even as a flash of that experience, you will never be again fooled. Pranavo Yaparam Brahma. Pranavascha Parasmutaha. Pranava is Apara Brahma and Parabrahma. Apara Brahma is Sakara. The womb you see, you can meditate seeing the form of the sound. Parabrahma, beyond the sound, yet the beyond the sound and the ah, both are Omkara because Ahuma and the silence. Apurvaha, there is nothing before it, Anantaraha, nothing in between, Abhatyaha, nothing outside it, nothing inside it, Anaparaha, there is nothing superior to that, Pranavaha, Abhyayaha, that is. Non declining, imperishable. Abhyaya means non declining, imperishable, right? Sarvasya pranavohi adhi, madhya mantasta daivata, evam hi pranavam nakva vishnu te tatamantaram. Pranava is the beginning, middle, and end of all. Having known this, you shall gain that supreme reality. Having known means what? I heard whom, is it? No. Meditate. See what is said there inside you. What is said there inside you. Feel the silence even vaguely. Even vaguely and a minute second. Then you, you will never be the same. You have reached the supreme reality. Pranam Hishwaram Vidya Sarvasya Sri Samstitam Sarva Vyapena Mankaram Matva Dhiro Narsatati. Understand this Pranava is the Vunka, is the Atma who is governing all your experiences, Ishwara. Having understood that to be that, he no more grieves because I am not an orphan. There is a Lord governing me. There is a Lord who it takes care of what all I need. 
that lord gives me all experiences pain and comfort like sweet pill and bitter pill he is all knowing all loving all powerful he is within me taking care of me what should i worry for what should i worry amatro ananta matrasya dvaitasya upashamaha shivaha umkaro nitito yena samunehe na itaro janaha the one who knows umkara is muni contemplate when not itaro janaha not who people who take classes and block everybody he is not a muni right ama amatra that amatra that one which is not avuma but the one who is the essence of avuma who was there beginning before avuma right before the two umkaras amatra amatra ananta matra so that is infinite dvaitasya upashamaha where the duality ends shivaha auspicious umkaraha vidito yena samunehi munihi that he is called a muni na itaraha yes, right not the other people who were uh, uh, extraordinary in bluffing right m m b master of bluffing right the one who knows this he is the one who you should worship with that the agama prakarana is over agama prakarana is what the upanishad says why that ya gives you logics right and helps you to negate because nanta pragna nabahish pragna nacho ubhayata pragna how to negate it how to see the logics manana first is agama shravana sruti second is manana yukti logic sruti yukti anubhava sruti yukti anubhava the first is the upadesha second is upapatti logic the last is experience last is experience nididhyasana shravana manana nididhyasana shruti yukti anubhava all are same right that vaitakya prakarana will see where so beautiful the way in which he makes you see how waking is not different from the he brings all your objections in dream this is so but in waking it is not so you he will make you see what is common you will say say 10 objections in dream this is so in waking it is not so he he gives you the logic and makes you agree dream is an extended waking is an extended dream waking is an extended dream that is we'll see next week ओम पूर्णमदा पूर्णमिदं पूर्णात् पूर्णमुदच्छति पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवावशिष्यति ओम शान्ति शान्ति हि शान्ति हि हरि हि ओम श्री गुरु नमो नमः हरि हि ओम ओम श्री चिन्मय सद्गुरुवे